Hello, thank you for joining me during this uh, really precious time of intimacy with Christ. I know it's um, going to be truly transformational, and I just want to say thank you for taking time out. Uh, God is a rewarder, uh, and I do know that, so it's going to be a great time. I wanted to uh, emphasize again how important it is to take the time. We know that Jesus spent time alone, and he withdrew and had many times of prayer, just him and his father, and so if Jesus did that, how much more should we do that, right? So this is really what this is about, is just to create time and space to hear from the Lord. So thank you so much. I just want to open up with um, Psalms 81.5. It says, I hear this most gentle whisper from one I have never guessed that would speak to me. If you ever wonder that God is hiding or uh, something is a mystery, maybe it's your purpose and you're like, I just can't hear from him, I don't hear from him, he doesn't want to speak to me. It's so untrue. It's, it's a lie from the enemy. Uh, God is trying to speak to us. And that is why I wanted to set 31 days aside and hopefully that you uh, continue on through the year because he does want to speak to us. And in this uh, time period, in this uh, season of chaos where the world is not well, he needs his children to rise up. There needs to be revival. There needs to be healing. There needs to be restoration. And all of these things can't be done when we're so busy that we can't hear from him. So this is really a great time to uh, start the new year and hear from him. Um, and, and he does want to speak to us. Psalms 81.5. Um, you know, God's voice is just a gentle whisper. It has gentle undertones. It's never the shout. And we have to allow this space and time, even if it's not maybe alone in our closet, but we just have to, to create time to hear from Him. Um, Psalms 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. And that scripture uh, is so dear to my heart. It was, it was before Yoga Faith was even born. I had this be dot still on my heart, and now I know why. But um, even in a ministry or a church, you know, these things can become our idols and become more important than God himself, and we forget why we're doing what we're doing. So let's not ever forget why uh, we're doing what we're doing and who we're doing it for, uh, an audience of one. You know, we are created to hear from our creator, so I never want you to guess that he doesn't want to speak to you. And during this time, it is uh, prayer. Prayer is a dialogue, it's not a monologue. We speak, he speaks, we want to hear from him. That's the whole point, right? You know, Elijah um, was looking for God's voice in the fire, in an earthquake, in the wind, and First Kings tells us that he actually heard God's whisper, and once he heard God's whisper, he came out of his cave and he started doing the will of the Lord. So let's be sensitive to the Holy Spirit always so we can hear that still small voice. We want to quiet ourselves enough to listen and uh, that's what this is all about. So I'm so glad you joined us on this journey. I want to say Matthew 10, 27. It says, what I whisper in your ear, I want you to shout from a rooftop. I'm sitting on a rooftop right now. Actually, I'm in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, on a rooftop. And, um, you know, in these intimate times with Christ, he's going to speak to us. And what he speaks to us, he wants us to shout from the rooftop. And I'll read you just another wonderful scripture in Joshua 6.10. It says, don't speak. This is our time of getting still. Don't speak. Don't even whisper. But until you hear me, then shout and then shout away. So he's telling us to go, go shout. But first we need to hear what he has to say, right? So I just want you to be encouraged um, by all of this. And I'll leave you with Psalms 55 too. It says, come close and whisper your answer because I really need you. Come close and whisper your answer, Father God, because we need you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, friends, so much. I pray that you'll be blessed during this time and hear his still, small voice that's ever so gentle. Thank you.